All right, so today we're going to be going over continuity in calculus. So uh, there's some main uh, important takeaways to take from this unit, and uh, then we'll get on to some questions. So the um, one of the biggest things in continuity is as the limit of x goes to a, fx should equal fa. So if there's a graph um, going like this, let's say at x equals 2 there shouldn't there should be a filled in circle at x equals 2 there shouldn't be a hollow circle or any type of discontinuity and uh whenever you have a line and then you have a hollow circle which is a removable discontinuity that's uh, a type of discontinuity that's when the function isn't continuous over that uh over interval and when you have a function that is kind of like a broken line um it doesn't matter where the shaded in points are the broken line is called a jump discontinuity it's basically when the function jumps so and we'll be going over the intermediate intermediate value theorem so the intermediate value theorem basically is uh let's say you have a continuous line over uh interval and um let's say f a and there is a number n y value between f a and f b then if that line is continuous then there must be a number there must be x value between a and b that um, matches with the y value of n that's by the intermediate value theorem since uh, the line is constant there must be a point at which the line crosses the y value of n which um would be the x value between a and b all right so let's on let's move on to the first question so the first question is asking us um a is asking us from the given graph of f state the numbers at which f is discontinuous and explain why so let's first state the x values at which it is discontinuous then we'll uh explain why so negative 4 is 1, negative 2, uh, neg uh, 2, and then 4. So negative 4, negative 2, 2, and then 4. So for each of the numbers stated in part A, determine whether f is continuous from the right or from the left or neither. So negative 4 will be have is a removable discontinuity because the limit still exists. But the point itself is not defined. So uh, the ne at negative 4, that would just be a, a removal discontinuity. And then at negative 2, that's a jump discontinuity. Now from the left side though, it is continuous. But from the right side, it isn't. Because from the left side, it reaches a point. Um, from the left side, the limit is equal to f negative 2. But from the right side, the limit is not equal to f negative 2 because uh, the f negative 2 is right here and the line is reaching to another number. And then f, f, uh, at x equals 2, we have a similar thing in which um, it is also a jump discontinuity. In which, um, so from the right side, it reaches, it is continuous, it reaches a point, defined point. But from the left side, it is not continuous. And now at x equals 4, from the right side, this is all, uh, is, it's, uh, from the left side, it's infinite discontinuity. And from the right, le uh, right side, jump discontinuity. That is because from the left side, it, it's going towards negative infinity. So it's infinite discontinuity. And from the right side, it is continuous. But as a whole, uh, it is infinitely discontinuous, or uh, you can also say jump discontinuity. But uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's all the x values and what type of discontinuity is taking place there. All right, so let's move on to number five and number six. The graph of function f is given. At what numbers a does limit x uh, as it goes to a? F x does not exist. So for graph 5, let's see, the x values at which the limit does not exist is negative 1, because uh, that's, 
both from the left side and the right side, they're both reaching different numbers. And no, yeah, I mean one, not negative one. And uh, there's nothing else. This is a removable discontinuity, but from the left side and the right side, they're both reaching the same limit. So the limit does still exist there. And for graph number six, uh, from the um, at point one, the limit is still the same. The limit is uh does exist there, but at one two three four, at x equals four, or rather two three four five, at x equals five, we see a jump discontinuity here, which is uh implying that the limit does not exist because they're both uh, from the right side and left side the limits are different so for the graph of six x equals five would be our x value in which the limit does not exist and for b is what numbers a is f not continuous so and on graph a i mean in graph five uh we already pinpoint that at x equals one the graph uh, a is not or f is not continuous and also there's a removable discontinuity at x equals three so we'd also add three in there and for number six at x equals one there's an infinite discontinuity so uh, it's not continuous so x equals one would be our answer and there at x equals three there's a removable discontinuity discontinuity which means it's discontinuous and then at x equals five there's a jump discontinuity so for b you see we have a little more points than we had for a and for c at what number is a does limit x uh, goes to a fx exists but a is not continuous at a that's a bit weird, but I think it. I think it means F A is not continuous A. -A. Oh, never mind. What it's saying is, uh, it's kind of the opposite of A, in which which x values does the limit exist, but it isn't uh, continuous. So stuff like removable discontinuity would uh, that would be an answer here. So for graph five. At x equals 3, we could see that there's a removable discontinuity in which the limit does exist, but uh, the function itself is not continuous in, at that point. So x e, uh, for graph 5, x equals 3 would be our only answer. And for graph 6, uh, we could see on x equals 1 to infinite discontinuity, which means that that would be one of our answers. Because the limit does exist, it's infinity, but... Uh, the function isn't continuous on x equals 1. And for x equals 3, that would also be our answer because of the gym jump, I mean, the um, removable discontinuity at x equals 3, which uh, the limit exists, but the function itself isn't exactly continuous there. So let's try these set of questions right here. So number 19, uh, function of x, 1 over x plus 2, and a equals negative 2. So what we have to do for these questions is figure out why um, the function isn't continuous at the a value given. Uh, so by looking at the equation and, you know, logistics of it. So for number 19, uh, we could just do a simple plug-in. I mean, 1 over, you know, negative 2 plus 2, that would just give you 1 over 0, which is undefined. So uh, in that case, we can just conclude that at a equals 2, it isn't continuous by the fact that uh, you get an undefined answer, and uh, it could be a vertical asymptote. So let's go to number 20. This is uh, an equation that could result in like a jump discontinuity, it's uh, piecewise functions. So uh, we get these two functions right here. Or rather, uh, yeah, that. So what we could do at uh, for negative two is we know that at negative at x equals negative two, the y value is one. So we need to get one when we plug in negative two to here. But uh, as we concluded, this is one over zero. 
So we know that for this, um, we have a vertical asymptote, but the um, F negative two is still defined. So for this, we would just, uh, that would be infinite discontinuity. That would be our answer. And for 21, x plus 3 is our first function, and 2 to the power of x is our second function. So what we could do is just plug it in. So for the second function, 2 to the negative first power, that would just give us 1 over 2. And then we need to make sure when we plug in negative 1 to x plus 3, we get half, in which um, we don't. So negative one plus three is two. So we get two different answers here. So what is this? What's this? Uh, what this is implying is that as function x reaches negative one, the limit is two, but the um, f negative one is one half. So and so that would just be uh, something like this if we visualize it. So negative one is right here. So the function reaches two over here, but the point itself is at one half. So that looks like a removable discontinuity. So that would be the type of discontinuity for that uh, equation, or rather a question. All right, let's move on to 22. So x squared over x, uh, and then x squared minus 1, and then we get this right here, this uh, this piecewise function. So at x equals 1, the y value is 1. So when we plug in 1 here, we, uh, we want to get 1 or else there's a discontinuity. So if we plug in 1, we get 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1. So that would just give us zeros, just fully zero. And uh, so this is saying as a function approaches one, the, um, it approaches zero, the y value, but the fun f of one is one. So uh, this also would just be a removable discontinuity. The answer for that. And now 23. So this is a piecewise function with three more, three sections. So we got uh, anything to the left of the function is cosine f of 0, 0. And then anything to the right is 1 minus x squared. So what we should do here is plug in uh, 0 to this and this function. So we plug into 0 to this, x squared, 0 squared, 0, so 1 and then cosine zero. Cosine zero is one. So we can see from the left and the right side, as it reaches the x value of zero, they both reach the same number, which uh, it would look something like this again. So it reaches one and then, uh, but the value f zero is zero. So that is also a removable discontinuity. So that would be your answer for that also just like the past three questions all right so i want you guys to try out number four here and uh so you could pause the video and take some time to try it out all right so let's look at number four from the given graph of g state the numbers as which g is can discontinuous and explain why so first let's uh write down the x values and uh that which is discontinuous and then we'll figure it out so uh for the case of this question let's say that it goes past three the line so discontinuities are at x equals three or uh, rather negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 3. So basically every point. So let's uh, pinpoint what type of discontinuities are happening here. 
So at negative three, we could see the um, graph kind of just, it does, it ends there. It's, there's no arrow or anything. So what that tells us is that at negative three, it's discontinuous or it's a jump continuity, uh, discontinuity or something. Because uh, the function isn't continuing there. And at negative two, what we have is a removable discontinuity because it's an error, uh, it's a hollow circle, uh, which means that f of negative two is not, you know, what it should be in order for it to be continuous. At f, uh, at x equals negative one, we have an infinite dis discontinuity or uh, also a vertical asymptote. At x equals zero, we have a jump discontinuity. From the left side, although it is continuous, from the right side it isn't because of that hollow circle. At f, uh, at x equals one, we have also a jump discontinuity, and from here, uh, both from the left and the right side, it isn't um, continuous because uh, the, there's no you know filled-in circle on any side. And at lastly, at x equals three, we have uh, another. Uh, probably jump discontinuity. As from the left side in this equation, it is continuous, but the right side is, um, it's, you know, it's not continuous. There's no arrow or anything here. It just stops. So although that probably, you know, it's un unrelated, but uh, I just want to point that out. All right, so let's try these set of questions uh, for you know our last final questions. And for these questions, I want you guys to draw a graph of each of these um, you know seven, eight, nine, and ten that explains you know these criteria. So just a graph, and so you can pause the video and do that. All right, so I'm just drawing the graphs uh, that we're going to be, you know, putting our answers on. Uh, just simple graphs for now. Nothing, you know, you don't need much labeling. So number seven is asking us a removable discontinuity at negative two and an infinite discontinuity at two. So let's just mark two and negative two right there. So uh, let's draw infinite discontinuity at negative two. I mean, two. That would just be a vertical asymptote to infinity at two. And then a removable discontinuity at negative two, we could just draw the line, hollow circle, and then continue line. That's a removable discontinuity. And let's jump to number eight. Jump the discontinu discontinuity at negative three and a removable discontinuity at four. So let's draw negative three, negative three is right there, and then four is right there. So removable discontinuity at four, we could just draw a continuous line with the hollow circle. That would just be a removable discontinuity. And then jump discontinuity at negative three. So we could just draw that, and then we could draw a filled in circle, and then draw a hollow circle down here with the line continuing. So this would be a you know piecewise function, broken function, removable discontinuity. So let's go to number nine. Discon discontinuities at zero and three, but continuous from the right at zero and from the left at three. So we wanna, oh, let's draw three right there. So, we want to be continuous from the left at three. So what we'll do is draw a filled in circle at three from the left side and continuous from the right at zero. So what we'll do is draw at x equals zero, there will also be a filled in circle. So here it's it follows the criteria of this. This is already, you know, we already did that. Discon discontinuity at zero and three. So for, uh, we could just, you know, just do a jump content discontinuity for both them. Just something like that, simple. So two jump discontinuities and, but they're both continuous from the right side of a zero and the left side of three.
And let's move on to number 10. Continuous from only from the left at negative 1, but not continuous from the left or right at 3. So let's draw 1, 2, 3, and then negative 1. Let's try to figure this out first. Continuous only from the left at negative 1. So we could just draw a line and then a filled in circle. That would um, say that it's continuous from negative 1 at the left side. And then here we could, uh, for the right side, doesn't matter what we do because uh, there's no criteria for it. Now we draw a line to 3. So it's not continuous from the left or the right at 3. What we could do is a jump um, discontinuity, except it's uh, both the there's hollow cir uh, a hollow circle on both the right and the left, which would mean that um, it's not continuous from either side because f3 is different from the limit from the right side of x equals 3 and x uh, from the left side of x equals 3. So that was uh, that was it for those four questions. So this is basically it for continuity. And uh, there are some you know important things to remember: jump dis discontinuity, removable discontinuity, uh, infinite discontinuity, and then you know when to apply what, as well as how to deduct an equation or a function rather to figure out where the discontinuities are. So uh, yeah, it's basically it.